Hello, future internet people! It's me, KP, and I am playing SnowRunner with the pop and goggle, as you can see. So. Greetings. I'll. Oh, way. Wow. SnowRunner, why did you do that? Go back in the middle. There we go. That's a bit nicer. <laughs> Boy, I am just such a professional when it comes to all of this video stuff. Yeah, um, you are. While Anita is doing the Anita stuff, you'll probably notice that I have gotten myself into a situation. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try and unstuck myself with the power of throwing more vehicles at the problem, while Anita does a tutorial. Uh, which one's an actual truck? You, you look truck-like. Yeah, you'll do. Oh god, I forgot how ungodly loud this game is. Uh, audio. Oh, and it's already on 57%. Good. 37. 38. That's good. That's done. So, how's the Anita? Anita is good. God, it's still ungodly loud. My right. apologies. I oh. am an ungodly loud person. Not you. Trucks. Who would have thought something so large with a gigantic engine would be so noisy? I know, right? I Mine's not that loud. I don't think this is ungodly loud now. I mean, it's about half the volume of my voice now, so... You know, only mildly deafening. God. Oh, wow. ah. Just driving Truck. up this road is having a lot of trouble. Oh no, that doesn't sound fantastic. <laughs> and it's stuck. Is this just in your first car? Yes. And you're already stuck. It's just not doing fantastically. <laughs> just hurry up. I mean, this just this bodes well for the future if you're already stuck like two minutes into the game. <laughs> Look, I will tell you now, I will get stuck. And it won't even because be because I'm faffing around like you. I'll be trying to do something and I'll just get stuck because I am bad at cars in real life and worse at them in game life. Well, you'll be happy to know that so far most of my faffing about has been learning how to actually truck properly. So that way, I can actually, you know, Boy. fix things when everything goes horribly, horribly wrong oh, with my everyone. Goodness. Because when we're all allowed to play at the same time, I am 100% convinced at least one of us is going to just be stuck somewhere and gonna be like, help! And ask for the other two to come help. And it'll most likely be you, or no, me. No, it'll absolutely be me that needs help. <laughs> um, I've already damaged my car. Ah, pshaw. Sure. I got into this one, the tyres are almost burst, the yeah. suspension's mostly broken, and I haven't even gotten to a town yet. See, this is not where I'm supposed to be going. That was very misleading, little yellow icon. <laughs> um, if you press M, it brings up a map, and then you can right-click to put markers down. There's no way yeah. to, like, have an auto-GPS thing, as far as I can tell, that will just give you perfect directions, but, you know, you put as many markers down as you want. I mean, why would we need perfect directions? Right. Oh my god. Although, having said oh. that, I am so far successfully navigating my way to the town without needing the map, which is good. Means I've learned at least one thing. That, that is true. I can guarantee I will be lo very lost the entire time. You may repair your vehicles in the garage or use special service add-ons and trailers. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Time to stop for some gas! Because we're in America and we call liquids gas.
one day I will use the winch. What is the winch? How do I do that? Uh, so it has an auto function where if you just press F, it'll connect onto something, anything. Oh. It doesn't really matter what. Um, and then you can press F again to pull yourself or R to release. Excellent. And essentially just okay. pulls you so you can get yourself unstuck if there's something to pull on. Okay. But the problem I'm having at the moment, which I'm trying to fix with bringing another truck is I've gotten myself stuck in a spot where there are no winch spots and none of my gears were helping <laughs> so whilst the game initially says like yeah the winch can get you out of anything it, it can't get you out of everything excellent oh I see the problem I forgot that I could do the all-wheel drive thing and didn't turn that on at any point. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might hold you back a smidge, Anita. <laughs> because I literally just did it by accident and was like, wait, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anita. You're such a treasure. Uh, so this is going to go well. Look, you've seen how bad I am at Mario Kart. What makes you think this will be any better? Uh, because there's no blue shells. Yeah, I'm my own blue shell. <laughs> well, I, I can't help that, Anita. Or <laughs> there's only so much I can do for you. No, no one can help that. When we're playing together, I can at least, you know, winch the front of your truck and just, you know, bring you along I can refuel here excellent I would love to fill up with some gas also I hope you're driving on the right hand side of the road because we're in reverse land um I look I'm barely driving on roads so <laughs> <laughs> Stop it there. And, whoa, wait, 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 wait. There we go, okay. Change. Okay, so, to you. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna reverse out of this. And just you. Oh no! <laughs> keep following the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, that didn't help. Oh no. <laughs> I brought another truck so I could have a, a winch point, but then it turns out the, um, the truck that I am trying to winch out of the spot is, uh, heavier than the one that I brought with me and just pulled the other truck down. Oh, excellent. So let's Gonna try. Avoid that bit of water. I hope this is the direction I'm supposed to be going. Again, it there, looks it, there like is a, a map feature. Woo! I've almost made it. The watchtower. Are cool. you in the um, big yellow truck or in your starter truck still? I can buy another one already? Uh, you don't buy, you just sort of come across it. Yeah. Well, that was the first objective that I had in the tutorial. Nope. Why? Oh, look, find the truck. That was my second objective. My first one was uh, to make it to the watchtower. Ah. Uh, I mean, it could have been in that order, I don't really remember. This way, um, I guess. This is, this is road. I think that's probably the only other truck I have that might be able to help. I and don't I... think that's road. Oh well. Handbrake. There we go. Don't worry, other trucks. New truck is coming. Is this a cliff? Am I about to drive off of a cliff? 
Uh, I don't think there's too many cliffs in the beginning part. Again, Anita, no. use your map. Never. <laughs> They have painstakingly made them so people don't get lost and don't do the what's over there? I don't know. I can't find my way. Ah, ah. Oh, there we go. Got us. You can just drive through here, that's not road. If it helps, I spend an awful lot of time not on roads. Excellent. So. Oh, that's a tree. At the very least, it's not a wrong thing to be off-road in this game that's all about off-road driving. Stop running into the tree! First person mode. If I go this way... These trees are that's just rare. everywhere. I assume that's kilometres since I told it to, to be in that... 40? I think. Yeah. White is miles. Orange is kilometres. So cool. I've not really ever been in first person mode before. <laughs> and I figured, why not now? When I'm trying to navigate my way back to where I was. You know, just eyes completely off the road looking at all the dials to figure out what they look like. <laughs> um, truck. Uh, okay. Change truck? There we go. How do I... Uh, press V to bring up your options thingy, then select the change truck icon, and then look at the truck you want, and click on the, the truck little orangey button. It's almost like you didn't watch me playing the tutorial, Anita. Uh, not yet, no. Don't you watch my videos? Oh, I'm so hurt. I do sometimes. It's <laughs> <laughs> alright, I haven't watched all your videos yet. I've been having I've to watched... train people, so I've, I've been... <sighs> You know, Gross. busy at work. Yeah. Gross. But you're saying you've watched? I watched at least the first two forewarned. Okay. Oh, did you watch the Pokemon video? Not yet. Ah. Uh, because that's I'm... a that's a fun video. I will admit, I had a lot of fun editing that one. Ah, uh, I need to. Do some editing. Maybe I did the best day. I could with us making it to one gym. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in our defense, a lot of it was me trying to save the game and having to just restart several times because it kept freezing. Yeah, but I was able to use my magic editor wand and just make that disappear. Oh, yeah, no. I probably won't be doing that. Oh, 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 I should stop looking around the cabin oh, and start paying attention bad. to the road again. Although this cat, this truck doesn't have a rearview mirror. That seems illegal. Come on, Bessie, you can make it. really off-putting driving from the passenger seat. <sighs> this is why I don't do first person driving. Except for in real life. When I'm sitting over there. On that side. <sighs> Whoa, I there's avoid a... doing it as much as possible. I know. Even though I taught you so well. You did. You taught me very well. I just hate it. <laughs> well, I mean, 
early trauma will do that. Alright. We're almost there. I'm sure bringing another truck into this is the solution. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Okay, so I go to the marker that is, um, whoops, need to take handbrake off, um, <laughs> marker that is, which, which one am I going to? Uh, you can move the markers as well if you need to, or you can delete them outright. So if you've made a mistake, it's not a, a irreplaceable mistake. Okay, so or irreversible, I suppose, is probably a better word. Uh, change truck. Vita. Now we get out of first person. There we go. Okay. You. Oh, <gasps> I can just do it to that. Oh my gosh. Uh, we want this one. We want Logi. We want Diffloc. All right. Come on. Just oh, well that tree fell down. Turn you either. bitch. It doesn't matter if you have to knock down a few trees to do it. <laughs> Mother Nature will understand. <laughs> yeah. I've got a job to do poorly. <laughs> Don't think about it as doing it poorly. Just think about it as doing the bare minimum requirements they ask for. I mean, if I even do that. <laughs> Love the confidence. <laughs> Okay, now, All right. try not to run into someone's house. That one. Change truck. Let's get into this one. Handbrake off. Can I... Although it is tempting us. to just go right through these houses. And then if I go over here... Ooh, handbrake. And then change truck back to this one. Can I winch? I can't winch onto the back of that one! What? Why? No! <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Is that a train? Are there trains? Uh, I've not seen a train yet. What the hell is that dinging then? Are you sure it's not real life dinging? I'm pretty sure. Oh, is it. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, truck. Didn't mean to. Alright. Alright. Now. Oop. Sorry, sign. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll go management. Oh. That's it. Load. You, okay. you need to be back. No, so what you're saying? Ha! <sighs> Is that I can't deliver everything in one go? It sounds like it's what they're saying. Is this what you're telling me? Fine. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. How about now? Can I... Low gear, diff lock... Am I... Am I moving at all? Am I doing it, game? Have I become the master? What do you mean there's no witch... You I have a truck right there! Is it you? Are you the trailer? Oops. Sorry, other person's car. <sighs> okay, fine. Recover. God, I need to detach the thing before I can do it. Fine. Now, recover. There we go. Uh, oh, that one. 
All right, trailer. I'm coming back. Uh, once you've made the bridge, um, let me know and I can give you directions to the garage. Um, it's oh. mostly a straight line, but I can tell you what things should be coming up. Okay. Also, the big truck that you get, ow, um, is a bit poo, so don't be surprised if it doesn't do fantastic on dirt and mud. I mean, I'm not surprised by anything. <laughs> Except when it's suddenly I giraffes. I feel like I should probably be able to attach those things. I would love to be able to see what's happening on your screen right now. Oops. 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 <laughs> oh, also, if it gets dark at any point, um, you can make time go forward in the map. Or you can hit L for lights to turn your lights on, whichever one you would prefer. Okay. Speaking of, I think I might change the time at the middle. Where am I going? Over there. Ah, okay. there we go. That's a little better. No, all my momentum. This way? Curse you, physics! Why won't you let me take the trailer? So you have to line up the back of your truck to the trailer and then you press V and then in the options there should be a thing to say attach trailer and if you're allowed to take the trailer it will attach it for you automatically. But what I have found out is not all trailers out align with all trucks so sometimes you're just not allowed to take them regardless of what you do. But, having said that as well, you can winch a trailer. Okay. Oh, this is not a happy truck. This is not a happy camper. This is a really sturdy sign. <laughs> oh, also, in case you have the same inkling I did, you cannot destroy the fire hydrants. They will destroy your truck. Okay. Yeah. I mean, nothing I destroy will be on purpose. <laughs> I, I just thought I'd warn you in case you look at it and do the, oh, does it make a spout of water if I run into it? No, it just damages your truck really badly and hurts your spine. This truck also doesn't have a rear view mirror. Do, do American trucks just not have to have rear view mirrors? I don't know. I don't know enough about American laws to know. Yeah, me neither. Right, oh! You know what? I was just, just in town, try. and I heard the bells that I think you were hearing, and that's the church bells. Oh, church bells. For all the people that are not in this town, because it's a ghost town. We're literally the only what do you people mean? I around. see all the people. Oh. Well, maybe I just don't see the people. Am I the monster all along? Oh my god. Surprising thing is I've destroyed several signs through this town. Uh, I've purposefully destroyed a farmer's fence because I wasn't able to save their trailer. They had it coming. They were the ones that got it stuck in an area none of my trucks can currently get, you know, through, so. Exactly. They should have thought of that before building their oh so breakable fence. Oh, that's right. I'm not allowed to go through here. Ow! I hurt my wheels on something. <laughs> Why would anyone do this first person all the time? 
I'm really doing it ugh, now just because I know where I'm going and don't really need to pay attention because it's just roads. But it's just the most ridiculous thing. Having said that, whenever I played like GTA, I never did it in first person ever. And I think it's all the the hundreds, if not thousands, of hours I have in that that makes me do the third person is the way to go. I mean, any car game for me is not not fun. Oops. Not even oh, GTA? Boy. I am damaged. Yeah, but how's the truck going? See what I did there? I made a funny. You did make a funny. At your expense, because I'm a good friend. I mean, is there any other way of doing it? I hear some people look nice to their friends. But that just... Ew. That just doesn't sound right. How do they do that? I don't, I don't know. They're, they're, they're weirdos. Uh, now, space what man breaks over. What breaks? Come on, trailer. Come on, trailer. Oh, I see. It was you the one that was stuck, not me, the truck. All because of a simple rock. Alright. Well then. God damn rocks. Now I don't don't you be trying to go over there. We're going through the water. I know you don't like it, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um just be wary, sometimes the deep water will absolutely just get you stuck and there's nothing you can do. That's fine. It's not a problem? It's not a problem. I went through once, I can go through again. <laughs> Alright, trailer, come come to me. Or bring me to you. Either way, I'm closing the gap. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the lumber mill for this next bit. See. Well then, why the hell am I going back into town? I have no idea, Anita. Why are you going back into town? It sounds like you don't need to go to town at all. It does sound like I don't need to go to town at all. <sighs> no, now I'm making some progress. Here we go. I do kind of need to go into town. I mean, once you get the lumber, you have to go, go to the bridge. Can get I to the could, bridge through the town. I could probably drive just through the forest to get to the lumber mill. That's how I did it. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. I'm almost up a hill that's not particularly steep. This trailer is heavy as shiz. How are you going off-roading? Fine. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm back on Road-ish. Whoops. Road-ish. I don't know what I just ran over, but my truck did not like it. <laughs> Probably whatever I did to hurt my wheel. <sighs> okay. Now that we're on the road, uh, where am I actually taking this? Oh, just down there. Okay, well, that's easy. Why would I ever do anything manually? <laughs> Loading stuff. It's the exact thing that I asked the game when I did it. I was like, um, why would I do it manually if I you, you just get a button and the button just does it automatically? Right? Okay. 
I do know created. that you can get cranes in this game, and you can have it so there's stuff in your truck bed and on the crane, in case you need to carry more stuff. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So maybe that's the part that they are telling people to do it manually? Or there's some people that just legitimately enjoy doing things the hardest possible way. But <laughs> who would do that, right? Weirdos. It's not like that's how I play games constantly. Ow, my engine. I wonder if I could drive through that Ow. water. I think you have to get wood to the bridge and then metal beams to the bridge. Yeah, I did the metal beams first. Ah. So you're halfway there. Yes. Man, whoever just dumped this trailer in the middle of the road was a real dick. Oh. Okay, there we go. I think my game just froze for a second. Oh, that's not good. I wonder if this ah. water's too deep ah. for me to go through. Well, there's nope. one way to find out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, trailer. There we go. Okay. Pretty sure my dad will be proud of all this truck driving that I'm doing. Jesus! That was a mean rock! <laughs> Did it come out of nowhere? Yeah! Right out of nowhere! You're just driving along and then BAM! Gotcha! Made my truck jump a little bit. <laughs> Earlier today I had one where it just made my truck capsized entirely. Wow. To be fair, I did hit it at like 100 k's an hour, so... I feel like it was warranted. <sighs> now, what else can I do while Anita is doing stuff? Unload. Build this bridge in front of me. <gasps> You're building the bridge. Oh my gosh. I've been promoted. Woo! Cool. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Contracts. Do things. Garage. You're now right. senior executive VP of sales. Is that the promotion? Yeah, exactly. Oh, excellent. Now you've Where got all the authority. Where do I go to fix trucks again? Is that in the garage? Uh, yeah, so you have to go to the garage first to unlock it, and then you can okay. use it to fix your trucks. I think before you get the garage, if you do the recover, it just takes you back to where they started, but I didn't okay. actually have to do that when the I did it because I just didn't break myself. My map. all-wheel drive and I might go a little bit faster. Okay, cool. But where's the garage? Oh my god, it's so far away! Uh, it is, but it's relatively easy to get to. Um, so, give me a second. So, when you cross the bridge, um, there's a path immediately to your left, and like just down a little bit, don't take that. Essentially just keep going in a straight line. Um, like take no detours, just continue on with the road and you will get there. Um, okay. There's one, two, three, four bits that can go off to the right. You don't want to take any of those in one, two, three bits that can go off to the left and you don't want to take any of those. 
So as much as you can, um, straight line. Ooh, I need to go back to the um, gas place and get myself some gas. Gotta get you some gas in that liquid foam. at the bridge now so that way when you get to the bridge I can like drive along with you essentially and like tell you how to how to do the is thing. Is it easier to do this in the truck or in the little car that you start with? Uh, the little one is a little easier for navigating over the roads um, but both of them can get there it's not difficult. I am almost out of fuel. I am out of fuel. How are you out of fuel? Because I did not <laughs> fill up at all once. <laughs> I haven't run out of fuel any time I have been playing, including the time I got a hole in my fuel tank. Oh, I probably have a hole in my fuel tank. Oh, There's a lot of that. red things happening. Um, Alright, how do I change cars again? You. Yes, please. Why is music being that loud? Everything's on. While I was waiting for you, I figured I'd just put some music on so the video isn't me just sitting here being perfectly still. But for some reason, the music is louder than it normally is. Huh. And my mouse keeps disappearing when I go over to the volume thing, so I can't check it. There we go. That helped a little. Where was the fuel? Driving into the wilderness is probably not going to help me. <laughs> um, so the fuel is along the actual road part. The paved road. Near the bit that has water over it. If you click on your map, you should see it say fuel station. I do see it say fuel station. Now all you need to do is navigate your way there. Nope, I'm going towards the lumber mill. I thought I turned around. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. The sooner we can get into two-player, the just significantly easier it's going to be to get you places. Oh yeah. Because you can just follow people. <laughs> point turn. Do it. Have you got your gas? Are you no. all gassy yet? No, I'm I'm a little bit stuck on a hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'd love to be able to help you, but we're literally doing this so we can be in the same game at the same time. I don't think it's a bit stupid that you can't do multiplayer prior to finishing the tutorial. Right? Because, like, there's nothing in the actual tutorial itself that you can't just figure out. Ow. My engine. Apparently, if 
you zoom in enough, you can actually see the fuel in your fuel tanks. And it even sloshes around when you're driving. Um, I may have a problem. What's the problem? I am, I am stuck. <laughs> Uh, if you press V, there is a button that says Recover. You could always give that a go. I don't know what it'll do prior to having the garage, but when you have the garage, it just takes you back to the garage. It took me to the, um, beginning. Okay, well, you're at least not stuck anymore, right? Yes. Well, if it took you to the beginning, then you'd be all fueled up and pointing near the bridge. I... I was wrong. It took me to where you find your first truck. So near the lava uh, mill. Okay. Well... But I am not stuck anymore. So Anita is here, everybody. So she should be going down the hill turning the corner, going right, past the lumber mill, and then going in a straight line, following this road, going past the house, honking to say hello to her friends because she's a local. You can honk? Uh, yeah, press G. G for g Gorn. You know how you press the Gorn in the gar? Yeah. And then she'd be coming up here. I don't think I've ever actually pressed the gorn. And then bloop bloop through the ah. puddle. Which this is probably where she hit the rock. Or possibly this rock. And then over here. Up to the road. Where so she can... you're doing this as if I were a, um, a normal person? So what Anita probably did was instead of taking this road turned around and went through the trees up the <laughs> rocks rammed through this house to come out onto their driveway to turn right go up these rocks because she's adverse to roads somehow ramp off it to jump up into the motel going around here up the side of the cliff and then rolling her way into the fuel station. Look, I found my way to a watchtower. <laughs> the, watchtower. The original watchtower that you find, I assume. Yeah. And now I'm at the gas station. <laughs> okay. So you went a non-linear path. Yep, good. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm on the road again. Uh, coming towards the bridge? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so, that's the water. I wonder if I'll get through it. Uh, you can in the big truck. I don't know if you can in the little ute. But there is a, a path to go around it. Oh, I know there's a path to go around, but I made it through. Okay. So Not well or now. quickly, but I made it through. I'm going to pretend that this is where she actually is. Oh no, Anita, look out! There's a tree! Ah! Oh, she fell. Oh no, I fell? Yeah. Damn. It's, you're just... You're terrible at this. <laughs> I really am quite bad at this. I mean, you should be coming up to the left turn to turn into the bridge. If my... I have oop. You have oop. I've made it to the bridge. Okay. I may have ran into the side of it, but that's fine. All right. So, cross the bridge. I'm crossing the bridge. Uh, when you get over it, you should see a path that goes to the left and a sweeping bit to go to the right. You want to go to yes. the right. To the right. Turn on my lights. And then the path should swoop mildly to the left. You will uh -huh. see a bit off to the right. Don't go that way. Continue going to the left. Continue going to the left. 
Now, this is an actual road now, right? This is like dirt road. Yes. Should be good. all muddy. Good, good. And my truck is performing badly currently, and I don't know why. <laughs> Having said that, though, I don't think you'd be further ahead than me currently. Oh, absolutely not. I've made it to proper road again and street lights. Well, you're mildly further ahead than me. Um, but yeah, you should still be just going in a straight line. I mean, straight is just a relative concept, really. Okay, you should be following the road, <laughs> Miss Asexual. <laughs> If you're going to be all up in my business about, you know, sexual identity. Oh, no, that's not even what I was talking about. <laughs> I mean, literally, my car is swerving a lot. Yeah, just try your best to be somewhat in the straight line. Uh, you should see a farm on your left. Um, don't go that way. Again, continue straight. Um, there's a road that goes between two giant rock bits. You want to yeah, go between I'm, the rock bits. I'm, I'm going between the rock bits. Excellent. I'm glad that you just take my terrible wordings to be but how they're intended. Water. Yep, in it's very, me. very shallow water, so you shouldn't have any no. issues. Okay. You should be able to just go straight over it. And then the road curves slightly to the left. Um, but you should be seeing a big, like, compound thing on the right. You want to go well, uh, in I that compound. I'm assuming it's the yellow magnifying glass that I'm now driving towards. Yes, you want to go towards that. Oh, I am going to give people motion sickness. <laughs> well, I hope you're not doing crazy things with the camera. I don't even know how to move the camera. Really? You click left mouse click once and then it follows your mouse. That's how I do that. Okay. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, once you get into the yellow square, you should have on your screen C, move to garage, and you'd click C. And then it basically goes through and tells you a few other things to do. I made it to the garage. Woo! Oh. Um, so once you're in the garage, it goes through some menu things. And then I think it wants you to go to the global map as the last bit of the tutorial. Or at the very least, if there's more after that, that's as far as I have gone. Okay. Okay. Leave garage. Please travel to Alaska region and complete the traveling tutorial first. Okay. Um, Alaska. You cannot leave garage while you do not have any retained truck. What does that mean? Uh, yes. Am I supposed to buy a truck? Uh, no, so the trucks you have should be fine. Um,. Uh, so, when you are in a truck, um, you can do the, like, recover to get you into the garage, and then your truck itself, I know there's a way to do it. Am um, I supposed to just be in my, am I supposed to be in one of the big trucks, because I'm not, and it won't let me leave the garage? <laughs> Uh, no, you should be able to just be in your, in, in, in your whatever in my, car. Yeah. In my little startup. Okay, cool.
Cool. Truck storage. Cool. Okay. Back. Right, am I? Ah, there? so when you're in the um, garage, one of the options down at the bottom is retain. Yeah, I figured that bit out now. Okay. Because cool. okay. I remember seeing it, but I didn't actually get that far. <laughs> Oh, hey. And now I'm in Alaska. Wait, where's my... Oh, here it is. Deploy. Okay. Does that mean that's... Have I now done it? Is that the end of the tutorial? Welcome to Alaska. Now you know the basis game is up to you to scout, accept contracts, blah, 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 blah. Oh, no, cool. don't sell. Awesome. So apparently I hadn't actually finished, like, properly finished, finished the tutorial either. Okay, cool. So, well, I'm now in Alaska. Hooray! <laughs> yay! I have one shitty blue truck. I have my red truck that I was customizing and everything with stuff that I was just finding around the map. Um, and apparently, I made it so it's actually quite decent. <laughs> Completely by accident. Um, but did you get I'm the bit that said it's up to you? Uh, probably. <laughs> Basically saying the tutorial's over, go do stuff now. I mean, I didn't read it. Ah, oh, I need <laughs> Um, But that's fine, we should... Let's try to get into a multiplayer. Steve Garage. Okay. Alright, I'm How going to... That? I am going to break this recording up, so I'm going to say goodbye yes. to you future internet people. Bye!